Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I have a transformation video transforming Windows Seven or Windows Eight to Android L. Now, this will not replace Windows with Android L. Instead, it's going to make your Windows Seven or Windows Eight machine look like Android L, at least a little bit. So, like I said, this skin pack is going to support both Windows Seven or Eight. So, pretty much, majority of you guys can try this out and uh, get your computer looking like Android L. If you want to try it out, go ahead in the description below and download the file next to the word download. After you download this file, it's going to be this one right here. What you want to do is simply pull the file in there, which is this one right here. And once you pull it out, put it to your desktop, wherever it's easiest for you, and go ahead and open it up. So once it opens up, you'll get that nice splash screen there, and it will check your system to make sure it's compatible for what we're installing here. Once it appears, we can go through the super easy installation, so click next. Accept the license and terms. Right here, it's going to ask you if you want to install a search protect. I highly suggest uh, hitting this blank button here. That will basically disagree with the... So don't hit agree. Uh, if you do by accident, then hit back again to make sure you do not hit agree. Instead, click this little blank uh, button here, and I should skip it. Now, what you want to do is make sure everything's checked off. You want the full look, and click install. So, what we'll do is create a restore point, just in case the power goes off or something happens while this is installing. You can kind of go back to a restore point to when the machine was perfectly fine, and you you won't lose any of your data. After that, I'll go ahead and install everything it needs to install, and then prompt you to reboot. And at this time, they'll probably be installing the theme as well, so make sure you give it a minute or two just to uh, finalize everything that's being applied. All right, here we go. So I was wrong when I first said that you had to reboot. Uh, I thought you had to reboot for this one, but my bad, you do not. So first thing you're gonna see right here is the Android L wallpaper. It is a bit blurry, I find on my screen at least. So you can go ahead on Google and find a higher res one if you'd like. Also, it has moved our status bar up here um, to the top here. Uh, you can click on the thing to bring up the start menu here. And you'll also notice if we go over the um, icons in our toolbar here, you're gonna see they highlight in a bluish with a yellow kind of underline, which is a kind of cool effect. But probably my favorite effect here, at the bottom, we have Rock and Dock applied with a nice looking Android L kind of skin pack. You guys can see they're all Android L skin or themed icons, and overall they look really nice. For a nice touch, you can do is you can right click and go to dock settings, and you can change some of the things. Um, for example, you can go to position and change where it is on the monitor. You can go to style and change the opacity. So if you want, you know, a very faint look here. But of course, you can do that all yourself, and make sure to check out the icons and um, bump them up to high quality if your computer can handle it, which it should because the high quality isn't much of a difference. Heading over to the file explorer, we have a nice um, gray icon pack over the icons. Not sure why these ones aren't kind of uh, Android L themed, but they, are, they do look nice though. The blue up here is kind of a nice uh, soft blue with a harder blue below. And uh, sorry, in reverse there. Soft blue here and with a harder blue at the top. And our not back and forward buttons have also been changed. The nice thing is they didn't shrink them really, so they're still easy to click and um, easy to notice. One thing you'll also notice though is the Xing, uh, maximize, and minimize buttons have been changed. The X shows, but the maximize and minimize does not unless you put your mouse over, which can be a hassle for some people. I know some people do not like that whatsoever. So here's a little preview of the local disk icon as well as the um, percentage of disk drive space available. Now I, what I did is I deleted the thumb cache, which I'll have a link in the description below on how to do that. And it did refresh some of the icons, which will have to do for um, some of the icons to take effect. Um, some will apply automatically, well, most will, but some will uh, apply until you delete the thumb cache. So I'll have a link in the description below on how to do that. So after doing that, you'll notice the folder on the desktop has um, change as well as well as the shortcut icons and the uac control icons overlaid on the icons at the home page or the desktop all right the last thing i'll show you guys before we head off here is simply just the login screen 
So here's the login screen, it has a nice lo uh, loading circle there. Uh, cool wallpaper actually, it's a nicer wallpaper than I find on the, on the desktop because it's a little more HD. And if you click it, you guys can see the nice uh, loading circle to welcome you to your desktop. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll have all the necessary links in the description below, um, below this video. And besides that, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below. And besides that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers. I'm about 1,000 away right now. And it's a pretty cool milestone um, in YouTube. So I thank all of you guys who consistently watch my videos and, uh, and all 49,000 of you guys who have subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.